Some say that when it comes to the protection of human rights and equality, nations like Pakistan and Turkey can't be regarded as the global favorites. But when it comes to India's Hindus and the Ram Temple, both nations appear to have a similar narrative. It wouldn't be right to say that every single Hindu in India wanted a temple in Ayodhya. Likewise, it would also be incorrect to say that all Muslims are unhappy about the verdict. After all, no court's decision or law can cure all problems and make every single person happy. But through multiple articles and videos, it may seem that some media outlets in Pakistan and Turkey have attempted to target India's image in many ways. But should Pakistan and Turkey allow themselves to be angry about a temple in Ayodhya? On one hand, Pakistan presents itself as the nuclear power of the Muslim world. And on the other, Turkey also fancies the idea of the leadership of the Muslim world. But in the grand vision of these two countries, will the Muslims of Indonesia, who celebrate and cherish their Ramayana culture, be able to find a respectful place? Isn't it right to say that if anyone wants to become the leader of the entire global Muslim community, the heritage of those Muslims of Indonesia who cherish their cultural traditions of Ram and Ramayana should also be respected? It was reported that in Indonesia, the Ramayana Ballet has been running continuously since 1961. And in 2012, it was declared by the Guinness Book as the most continuously staged performance in the world. The Futures of Asian Cultures was published by the UNESCO Principal Regional Office for Asia and the Pacific. On its page 14, it mentions how the Indonesian Muslims enacting Hindu Ramayana justify their actions by saying, Islam is our religion. Ramayana is our culture. Yes, no nation is perfect and no nation should be looked down upon, but many believe that if Pakistan wants to be taken more seriously among the secular, modern and progressive world, its constitution should first allow a non-Muslim to be able to become the head of state. Some even say that if Pakistan can't look after the non-Muslim minorities within its borders, it should at least think of the well-being of its own Muslim minorities which aren't even considered Muslim by them. Anyway, instead of ideologies that believe in expansionism, we need people who like to celebrate their common civilizational heritage. And yes, it is never too late to do that. To start with, how about watching this video made by the Indonesian Embassy in New Delhi? Joyful family, shopping, friendship, club, celebration, life, happiness, discount, joyful, good wishes, glorious, togetherness, smile, so sweet, smile, dancing, wonderful. Diwali is a festival of lights. It is the time to light up the Diaz to welcome Lord Ram from his 14 years of exile. Knowledge of our ignorance. To all our Indian friends and to all Indians in India and around the world, we wish you a joyous Diwali. Let us light the Diaz and let it illuminate India-Indonesia relations, leading to new heights of friendship, stronger partnership and greater prosperity. Diwali ki subkam naye. Happy Diwali! The story of Ram is embedded into the culture of Southeast Asian countries. The significance of Ram and Ramayana in Southeast Asia has been described in a remarkably interesting way by the Southeast Asia Center of the University of Washington. India has decided to construct a massive Ram temple in Ayodhya. Some think that this Ram temple in Ayodhya is also a tribute to the living culture of those Indonesian Muslims who have preserved their legacy beautifully and also to the global community which understands the importance of unity in diversity. Yes, without a doubt, questions should always be asked if using violence is the right thing to do to defend the cultural or civilizational heritage. But many may also agree that as a foreigner, if you want to understand what the real India is, Understanding India for India's enemies may not be the smartest thing to do. As a neutral observer, don't you think that it is right to say that Ayodhya's Ram Temple is India's internal matter and other countries should do a lot of self-introspection before preaching to India and her people? See you again.